By next week, this will be old news. Right now, it's the biggest news in the NFL. DeAndre Hopkins choosing the Titans over the Patriots. DeAndre Hopkins no longer waiting around for someone else to offer more than what the Titans or the Patriots had put on the table. And by all appearances, this was just a simple case of the Titans offering more. Because maybe, just maybe, when you consider the full incentive package, maybe there's an opportunity for Hopkins to earn more in the New England offense with Bill O'Brien, Mac Jones at quarterback, than in Tennessee. But in Tennessee, you know, is he kind of the number one guy right through the door? He would have been in New England. Traylon Burks, year two. I don't know. And I also wonder, it's not like DeAndre Hopkins or his representatives are going to advertise this. I wonder if the Titans finally said, hey, man, we got to do this now. We're not going to be a stooge where we've got this offer on the table and you're going to wait around for somebody to get injured or some other team to decide that the guy they thought they were going to count upon to be receiver one, receiver two, receiver three isn't good enough. So they're going to come get you. We're not going to be your bargaining chip for a better spot. We need you to make a decision now or the offer is going to be off the table and we're going to move on with the guys we have. We want you there week one. You need to dispel this notion that you don't like to practice. You need to embrace training camp you need to be there from day one look at what they're saying about you i could see mike vrabel pushing his buttons to get him properly motivated to show up for the start of training camp and get it done to sign before then and not let it linger so he gets 12 million in base salary or total compensation this year up to 3 million in incentives that would get him to 15 i suspect he really wanted to match odell beckham jr's 15 plus up to three And that may have been why he was waiting. But at some point, you just got to take what you can take. I remember when the talk of him being available first emerged when he was still with the Cardinals. And the sense was, hey, that $19 million plus that he's due to make this year, somebody's going to have to tear it up and pay him more. Well, nope, that isn't what happened. It got torn up by the Cardinals because he couldn't trade him because nobody wanted to take on that contract. And now he's getting less, $7 million less before we get to the incentives. And who knows what's going to happen with the incentives. And they they have a formula for receptions, yards, and touchdowns. The maximum is a million, a million, a million, but he can make different levels. And he's going to have to have a big season to get the full three million. And really, if he gets the full three million, if he plays well enough to get the full three million, 15 million is a bargain for the Tennessee Titans. And then they have him under contract for next year. And I haven't seen the full breakdown yet, but my guess is that this is just a one-year deal with a one-year option held by the team. It's not a straight two-year deal with full guarantees. And if he doesn't get it done this year, the Titans are going to move on after one year. And there'll be some cap charge for next year from the signing bonus. We're still waiting for the full breakdown on the Hopkins deal. And as to the Patriots, I was on radio in Boston today, and we were talking about this, the fact that the Patriots didn't get him. I wonder if Bill Belichick just really didn't want him. Because this was a different kind of courtship. Usually Belichick lurks quietly. He's interested in a guy and no one but the guy and his agent knows he's interested. And then he just gets the deal done or he doesn't. There isn't this public courtship where everyone knows for a period of weeks that the Patriots are interested. I just wonder whether or not deep down Bill Belichick didn't really care. Maybe placating Bill O'Brien a little bit. I don't know. And I know Brian Hopkins' relationship, it was hardly warm and fuzzy when things ended, when Hopkins was traded by O'Brien to the Cardinals. So I never thought that one made sense. And I don't think Belichick was as serious about getting him as he's been serious about getting guys in the past because he flies under radar, he gets it done, and we don't even know he was trying to get the guy like he did with Stephon Gilmore, like he did with Cam Newton, how like he did with Randy Moss 16 years ago. Nobody knew Bill Belichick was considering a trade with the Raiders for Randy Moss. We were like, what the hell? It was one of the best moves he ever made. So we'll see if passing on DeAndre Hopkins was a good move for the Patriots and if getting him was a good move for the Titans. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.